This project really grew and, and took a lot of twists and turns. It started as what I thought was a simple project about animals in space, just animals in space. That was it. But as I found, it was like, well, why did you send that animal to space? And when did they go? And if we sent them again? And, and just so many correlations between the animals and, and humans and even future space travel. So it was a learning experience for me. Well, I think people will get when they sit down and watch this video. Um, it's not only a somewhat of a history lesson, of why and how we use the animals in space, but also why it was necessary and how we continue to learn and to use what we learned from those animal flights. We had a lot of help from the Education Center at the Kennedy Space Center and, and one of the persons that came along is their lead educator, Steve Lima. Steve is with us here tonight. I think a documentary like this is important um, because it shows us where we came from and that uh, the history of the space program is not that old. Uh, when you think there are people alive today who were there during its infancy. The research for the DVD it, to find all those videos that are in it took a lot of date research, cross-referencing research. It took a lot longer than we anticipated, but we would be almost finished and then somebody would say, I found another video or, hey, have you talked to X? You got another great interview. You got another great picture. You got another great video you found. This is just a clip that kind of demonstrates kind of the fun things that are in the video. In fact, so many animals have gone into space on the space shuttle, you might think it's Noah's Ark. There's a whole nother story of animals in space outside of human spaceflight that um, I'm so glad that Jim was able to tell through this, this film. Fortunately, uh, We've had all good reviews so far. It's been reviewed uh, by several of the uh, reviewing organizations for the libraries. Uh, it's been by some of the experts in space, like Dr. Livingston of the Space Show. And, and just today, uh, we were notified that the uh, National Science Teachers Association endorses the video. They're going to recommend the video. This is the second documentary produced that the science teachers have endorsed, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Jim Lewis has had this passion for space, for anything to do with, uh, with creating TV shows, movies, documentaries, and for me, I've followed him for so many years, we've worked together, and to see his passion come to fruition for something like this has just been fun, and then tonight to see it on the screen, all put together, was just great. <laughs>